Hello, we're back. In episode 19, I said we'd be talking about the invader port to the Sony PSP programmed in Lua using Lua Player Euphoria. Lua Player seemed to have been abandoned. Then it was picked up and continued as Lua Player Euphoria. But if you look at the downloads area, it looks like 2009 was the last time anyone worked on it. I was having a lot of trouble getting any help when I was using it. Too bad, because it's pretty cool. I'm using PPSSPP, the PSP emulator, in Windows, and Notepad++ as an editor. You'll need to name your file index.lua. Let's take a look at the code. Here's what it looks like in Lua in Notepad++. Let's run the emulator and try out our game. Here's PPSSPP. Once we run it, the Lua Player Euphoria will show up as a game in the menu. You can only have one Lua game at a time on here. Remember, the player looks for that file named index.lua. Now we'll just click the icon to run it in the emulator. You'll notice I have this modern looking font instead of a retro pixely one. I tried to change it, but could not find any help or information on how to convert a font to a PGF file. If anyone out there knows how, please let me know. Otherwise, everything else went pretty smooth. Now let's take a look at the game running on some original hardware. First, we'll look at it on a PSP Slim. a PSP Go And lastly, on a PS Vita running in PSP mode. Well, that's all I have for this episode, but I still have content created for at least nine more episodes. So that about wraps up episode 20 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Nintendo Game Boy and Game Boy Color programmed in C using Visual Studio Code with the GBDK SDK. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.